In this video, I'm going to teach you how to find the derivative of cos 2x using first principles. So we'll start with our basic statement of first principles. So we now, of course, need our f of x, which is going to be cos 2x, because that's the whole point of the problem. Then we need to find f of x plus h. So we simply replace this with x plus h and this with x plus h, giving us our values for f of x plus h. We now can simply substitute those into our original expression. So we got the easy stuff out of the way. Obviously, this 2 could be brought inside here. So we bring the 2 inside. And this is going to give us something that's going to be a little bit easier to work with. Though finding limits here is way too early because we've got the divided by h. And this is just not a very nice expression. So we can use a trig identity. So your cos of a plus b is simply your cosines of a and b minus your sines of a and b. So this 2x is going to be our a, and this 2h is going to be our b. So we do the cosines of our a and b minus the sines of a and b. So there's your cosines of your 2x and 2h minus your sines of 2x and 2h. And then that minus cos 2x is simply going on the end there. We need to now do something to this to split it up in such a way that we could use something like L'Hopital's rule to get a nice limit that we can actually find. And so I'm going to split this up to get our cosines together and our sines together. So we'll take a factor of cos 2x out and we'll take a factor of sine 2x out. So we're going to do a kind of factorization idea. So the co cosine 2x comes out. That's leaving us with this cos 2h rather. And then minus cos 2x is simply becoming 1. And so we've got this expression here. We take the sine 2x out. And then we've got this here and simply an h on the bottom. This is one step closer to finding a limit that's going to be quite nice. Though we would like, ideally, this to be 2h rather than just h. So I'm going to take a factor of 2 out, and you'll see why in a second. So I take a factor 2 out in each case. So I'm taking a 2 out here, so I'm adding a 2 there. So it's going to cancel down to exactly the same thing. Taking a 2 out here in the same way. And this means that we've got a cos 2h and a 2h on the bottom. So they're matching up, and a sine 2h and a 2h on the bottom. So we can do a substitution. So I'm just going to decide that t is going to be equal to 2h. So all of these 2h's can simply be replaced by t. And so that's all I've done there. I've just replaced the 2h's with t, and that actually gives us something slightly nicer. So with L'Hopital's rule, this we can simply take the derivative of the top, derivative of the bottom, and find the limit as t approaches 0. And well, that's going to end up being a sine. That's going to disappear. That's going to become 1. And so this limit is actually going to just turn out to be 0 because you're doing sine of 0, which is 0. Then we've got this function here. And by L'Hopital's rule, that's going to end up becoming a cosine. And so we're going to get 1. And so this whole thing here is just completely gone because you're timesing by 0. This is just going to become 1. So all you're left with is the minus sine 2x. And that is your derivative, because the derivative of cos 2x, you should know, is minus 2 sine 2x. So this is how you can find the derivative of cos 2x from first principles. Hope this video was helpful to you. And finally, thank you very much for watching.